Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be unboxing and reviewing the Van Powers Commuter. It'll be a carbon black. This is how it's gonna look. And hope you enjoy this video all right first box open and looks kind of like we got a box in a box all right hopefully there's not three other smaller boxes in this box all right gonna do the tip over and slide out not looking forward to that puzzle piece picture I don't know why it says that but yeah hopefully there's not a puzzle in here all right, I got the next box open. And here's how everything looks. Get some light in there. All right, time to pull it out. And that's it pulled out of the box. Also have a little accessory box. All right, here's the part where I Snip everything off, take the packaging off, and you get to see what it looks like without it. All right, well, there you have it, mate. Packaging off, mate. Tire. Seat. Handlebars. It was like very easy assembly. Open up the accessory box. Got everything. Fanned out nicely. Who knows what's in this thing? Probably some candles. Looks like a bell. That's a weird looking bell. Bell or a thumb shoe? It's a bell. <coughs> we got the charger. Manual. Paper about the display. and the belt, since it doesn't have the chain. Screwdriver, some more wrenches down there. All right. All right, probably the easiest part would be sliding that on. Or oh, never mind, it's not, a, it's not a quick release. So we're gonna put it in and then screw it, out, screw it tight. Next, let's take these screws out, put the handlebars on. Whenever you're putting this together with the four screws, start on one end, move across, move across, move across. That way so you're closing it, closing it in at an even level. Uh, you don't need to tighten this too tight yet. You want to just put it just tight enough so that you can still move it around so that when you get the tire on, you get the bike up higher and you can sit on the bike and adjust to how you need. All right, tire time. I really don't like when bikes are unstable like this. I feel like maybe I should do tires from now on first, but yeah, let's, let's get this packaging off and see what we're working with with the tire. Alrighty, took the foam off. Found out I do have a quick release, but this is a first. Not a first on the belt belt drive but it is a first it just gets slid in screwed in and then locked into place huh that's interesting all right slid the little skewer in always when you're doing with hydraulic brakes you want to take that little tiny clip out which is going to be 
that little clip right there. Usually it's a different color. It's black, it's a little harder to find it, but yeah, it's a little plastic, plastic clip right there. And then you're gonna wanna line everything up nicely. Make sure you slide the disc right into the little disc holder, my bobs, right there. All right, had a little trouble with the quick release. Ended up uh, just Allen wrenching because the quick release wasn't working, but after a while, got it to work. All right, time to get on the bike, adjust the handlebars, and also put pedals on. All right, after you get on the bike, you're gonna have to sit on it how you like, and then position the handlebars, and remember, tighten crisscross one corner then the opposite corner so on and so forth all right we're gonna do pedals and then we gotta fill the tires with air so left and right should be labeled on here with the wr wl one's gonna be clockwise one to be counterclockwise always make sure you tie it real tight you don't want these to fall off when you're pedaling all right, mate, we got the pedals on. Now let's put some air in the tires and then turn it on and see how it looks. This is a first for me. I don't know how I'm supposed to inflate that, so we're gonna go look that up, see if the accessories we have with the pump have any ideas or. Hopefully one of these do the trick. And then it's gonna be 50 to 85 PSI, and I'm guessing that's why it's a different valve stem. All right, to be continued right now. Thanks Google. That will be the attachment you wanna put on. You just put it right over and then, ooh, you didn't hear that. And you put that on. Start pumping. While that gets all pumped up, I have noticed we gotta take, put one of these wires together. And then whenever you're doing these wires, you always wanna make sure that these prongs don't get bent. So you wanna line everything up nicely. They have the arrow, and we gonna end up having to match the arrow on. Flip it around. Come on. There you go. And then you're gonna line all that up. Don't bend, don't twist, just press together. And the moment of truth, powering it on. Ooh, color display. Hey, there's point one on that strip. This is not brand new. All right, here's the part where you guys like to see me take it out. Oh joy. Almost forgot one of the most important parts. Putting this bad boy on. Can't ride without one of these. All right, here we go. Me personally, not a fan of the Roadster bikes. I got it at zero PSI. I mean, not PSI. Puddle assist. That would be abbreviated with PAS. Rides very smooth, as I expect it would. Remember we got the belt, carbon belt drive. Definitely need to adjust this, this is up here. Need to loosen it, lower it. Pedal assist one, eco, you don't really feel it. I'm assuming if I'm going uphill, I'll feel it. Help out. This too. 
feels like I'm doing most of the work still. I'm even on two. I'm trying to keep my legs at the same pace. Speed's picked up. It's a lot easier to move my legs. Four, power mode. At this point, it's almost like I'm just putting very little pressure. I can still feel it in, I think it's called my hamstrings. So I can feel it in my hammies. I don't really feel like there's a set speed limit per puddle assist since it's mainly your legs doing the work it just makes it easier for you to do it so this is like a true pedal assist versus other bikes where once you start pedaling it'll at a higher level it just does the work for you all you gotta do is move your legs so that it does the work for you which I can still feel that I'm using my muscles on boost, which is five. I'm hitting 16 regular. I would have to start pedaling faster with my legs if I wanted to it would go faster. Oh, starting to feel some rain. Got a couple drops on my face. A couple on my screen. That bell drive noise. I don't know if you can hear it. That's gonna take some time to get used to. Versus the other ticking noise that the chain usually makes. All right, well, that's the unboxing and the assembly of the Van Powers commuter. I wanna get this recorded all before it starts raining. Get this done. If you like the video, give it a like. Please subscribe if you want to see more unboxing and assemblies of e-bikes, e accessories, products, anything. Anything I anything I can think of, I will unbox and review for you. Just give me a comment if you have any questions. Subscribe button is 100% free, so make sure you hit that. Hit the bell if you want to see things as soon as they come out. I'm going to start posting some things that are not out yet or right before they come out release to the public so you'll be getting first hand first hand view of it hydraulic brakes carbon belt color display quick release uh, the information on the motor and watts and battery and all that stuff you'll see in the beginning of the video, I'm, I think I'm going to put it right there. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a great day.